Welcome to www.healthsourcechiro.com. Today's topic, suffering from neck pain, a chiropractic five-point checklist. If you have pain in your shoulder or neck, you want to seek treatment to get back to feeling like your old self again. Neck pain can really limit your range of motion and ability, so you can forget exercise. This kind of pain puts so many activities on hold and takes the pleasure out of most things that require you to use the muscles or ligaments that are irritated. Your cervical spine consists of vertebrae C1 through C7 and eight pairs of cervical nerves. It's an area of the body highly sensitive to even minor injury because it's where the spinal cord resides. Pain, tingling, and weakness are symptoms that develop when one or several of the spinal nerves are injured or aggravated. The cervical nerves are in charge of many bodily functions and are also responsible for sensory activities. Nerve stimulus travels to and from your brain via the spinal cord to a specific location. These nerves go to specific locations by traveling outside the spinal cord and into everything from your organs to your fingertips. Neck pain is commonly caused by whiplash, a rotator cuff injury, or tendonitis. It can be a sign of more serious illness like a heart attack and gallbladder disease. Numerous tips to the chiropractor have taught me the following. Number one, do a chiropractic background check. Don't let excruciating pain cause you to make a hasty decision. You should do a check of the chiropractor's background. A routine first exam should be quite thorough. It should always include complete muscular, orthopedic, and neurological exams so that they know exactly what treatment is necessary. Full x-rays of the neck and spine should be done for your safety to expose hidden problems. Since pain in one part of the body is very often linked to a problem somewhere else, these comprehensive exams are the best way how to find out how to begin eliminating your pain. Number two, the chiropractor should set goals. The chiropractor should be able to tell you what results you are to expect over what period of time. Then make sure you get a copy of your specific treatment plan and costs in writing. Number four, get the most recent status. In order to tell if you're actually making progress, a chiropractor should do an interim exam periodically throughout your treatment with them. They need to spend adequate time focusing on your specific problem. They should explain to you where you were before and where you are with the treatment plan. Number five, testimonies don't lie. Any seasoned chiropractor will have seen many patients make progress and become free from pain. They should have no trouble producing verifiable testimonials from satisfied customers. These steps should ensure you pick a reputable chiropractor with experience and results treating the kind of neck pain you're suffering from. If you've been putting off seeing someone for your neck pain, do not continue to delay seeking treatment. All we have is our health. A good chiropractor will get you back to normal enjoying all the activities you did before your neck started giving you trouble. For more information on topics like this, go to www.healthsourcechiro.com.